So today we're going to look at the use of skin fold calipers in fitness testing. A skin fold caliper is a pincing instrument that measures the width of a skin fold that is one centimetre in height. To use a caliper, an assessor would get the fat layer and they would pinch it so that it moves away from the body of a distance of one centimetre. At this point, they would then use the caliper to measure the width of the fold that they've just created. There are a number of sites that an assessor can perform these pinches at. These are on the chest and back, the biceps and triceps, the hips and abs, the thigh and calf. In order to perform the skin fold test accurately, it's essential that the assessor knows where precisely in those locations that they perform the pinch. At least three locations need to be tested in order to gain enough data to use on the nomograph to ascertain what the performer's body fat percentage is. And for increased accuracy, at each location, the assessor needs to take a minimum of three samples and then average out the score. Once an assessor has tested three locations and at each location taken three samples and averaged those out, they then add or sum up these three figures to arrive at a total figure that we can then use on the nomograph. A nomograph is a form of normative data that helps a performer or assessor convert the numbers that they gain from testing into the result in the form that they want, which in this case is the sum total of three skin fold sites, and we want to convert that into a body fat percentage. Through the testing of hundreds and thousands of different subjects from a range of ages and genders, experts can now predict what the sum total of three skin fold sites equates to in body fat percentage. They've conducted the studies and then produce a nomograph or a data table which allows the performer or assessor to gauge what their body fat percent would be in a really accurate way without actually having to be in lab conditions. All an assessor needs to do is add up the three skin folds from the three locations and plot this on the nomograph. They then plot the age and gender of the performer and connect these up and continue the line until it crosses over on the final column which is the body fat percentage. They then measure this off to the nearest 0.5% and they provide this to the performer as their likely body fat percentage. With skin fold testing, there are a number of benefits, but there are also some drawbacks. We're going to look at the benefits first. The first is that it's very accurate and specific to body fat. Calipers can be purchased which measure to the nearest micromillimetre the width of each skin fold. And because it only takes into consideration the skin fold, it's not concerned or worrying about muscle mass or fat-free mass, we're only looking for body fat percentage. The amount of fat in a person's outer layer determines the width of the skin fold, which is the result being taken, so only fat is being measured in the skin fold caliper test. Also, with the use of nomographs, we can also gain a very accurate result without the hassle or need to go through lab-based testing. We take the research done by the experts and we can then apply that to our own testing through the use of one simple chart and connecting three dots. However, there are some drawbacks. The first being accuracy costs money. The more accurate we want the skin calipers to be, the more money the performer or assessor is going to have to pay to have access to that quality equipment. And even then, human error can still occur when measuring those skin folds. Yes, we take three different samples and average them out, but a human is still pinching the skin and they can still get things wrong. Even if it's out by a millimetre, this could still impact on the overall result of this fitness test. Another drawback to this fitness test is that it is quite evasive. It will require the assessor to be pinching the skin, so it will require the t-shirt or the trousers to be removed so that the assessor can get to the appropriate sites to get those skin fold measurements. Being that the assessor needs to get to a minimum of three locations, it is also quite a time-consuming fitness test. And finally, as good as nomographs can be, we're still only providing the performer a prediction because we've gone to three specific site locations on their body, we haven't tested them as a whole, and we've taken that data and basically applied guesswork through this nomograph to get that result at the end. So to summarise skin fold testing, its main purpose is to assess someone's body fat percentage. It involves an assessor going to three locations around the performer's body and taking three separate samples of skin fold measurements at each. They then average out the width experienced at each location and they add these three numbers up to arrive at a sum total. Using a nomograph, they then plot on the graph where this number is and then, according to the performer's age and gender, they plot a second dot on that same nomograph. 
By connecting these two dots up and drawing the line out further, it then crosses a third column which tells the assessor what the likely body fat percentage is of the test subject. The benefits are that it can be accurate, especially if we spend a little bit more money on accurate skin calipers, and it sticks to body fat. It doesn't try to predict multiple components of the person's body, we just stick to body fat to get a body fat percentage. However, with high quality equipment comes higher prices, as well as the specialist know-how in order to use that equipment. Even still, human error can creep in and cause the reliability of the data to be off, and the test methods themselves make this an evasive and time-consuming fitness test. So, that's Skinfold Fitness Testing. I hope you found that mini lesson useful. If you did, then feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel, where you can be kept up to date with all the video and content that we're going to be bringing. Alternatively, if you want to learn more about private tuition or the teaching and learning resources that we write, then visit us at thepetutor.com and you can reach out to our team. I hope to hear from you or see you soon.